I don't know. What's the date on that fight again? June 25th. I feel like that's like boxing, a boxing holiday. I feel like I got to be there for the yeah, S at the Barclays, right? New York, so. I, I feel like I got to be there. That's going to be, that's probably going to be one of the most explosive fights of 2016. And I, I swear, I fought Porter in the, um, in the Olympic qualifiers. I lost to Porter in the Olympic qualifiers. 2007. Yeah, he fought 65. Like, uh, I fought 65, and we both went down to 54. Then he, I don't know how he made 47. <laughs> living with yeah. his dad and living a very disciplined yeah, life. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, because we both were at 50. Like, we both went down to 54 because at 65, like, I was a small 65. Like, I'm 5'10", but I was 158 pounds every fight, 160 pounds. I was never a full 165. So when I turned pro, we always fought at 54. But I don't know how Porter got down to 147 pounds. That's one disciplined cat, though, man. Like I like Porter. He's a Porter's a nice kid too. You know what I mean? He's he's some he's a, another person that's like Andre Ward. He can fight his behind off, but at the end of the day, he's still humble. He's still soft spoken. He's still approachable. You know what I mean? Very nice. Good dude. So, yeah. yeah like they did a GQ article on him about his diet and mm-hmm. it was like grapefruit in the morning bunch of water and then it was like very it was like super small portions where I was just thinking how can you do all of that training with like it was basically like he was eating like single items that were the size of your hand in six eight intervals in three hours of fighting well, that's smart because I mean that that makes when you eat smaller smaller meals in a shorter time period like that instead of three big meals you eat small six small meals and uh that that does it, it spikes your metabolism so in and out you just burn you just it's just a cycle you know what Are i mean you guys, you're not you're avoiding the question of this fight man oh my bad i'm sorry that's gonna you know what i i, I it's one of those fights you got to be there and and witness it um I, there are pros and cons um, I think if it came down to who had the better boxing ability, they're both bangers, but who had the better boxing ability, it would be Keith. Who's a bigger puncher, it would be Keith. Who has more fortitude and who's physically stronger, I would probably say Porter. There's a difference between strength and power. There's a difference between strength and puncher power. Uh, Sean Porter is very, very, very strong. You know what I mean? So I think he'll be able to deal with whatever uh, Keith comes at him with. But then again, Keith's a big puncher. We're talking eight-ounce gloves. And uh, Keith has great boxing ability. And, I mean, <laughs> Keith crazy, too. <laughs> you know? So, like, there's going to be a fight there, bro. It's going to be a fight. I know that much. It's going to be a fight. King Mo yesterday said that uh, Sean Porter's like Tim Bradley 2.0. Yeah. Cause he's, I mean, he's so physical and he's he's always in peak performance shape. There's one thing to be in good shape. There's one thing to be in peak shape. There's one thing to be in performance shape. But he's in peak performance shape. Like you're gonna have to be Superman to deal with him. You know what I mean? Is that kind of annoying that you have to work with him? Like, man, do you ever get out of shape? Yeah, that's. Uh, no, nah, it wouldn't be annoying to me because I like to train. But I mean. You know, I mean, he's reaping the, the 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 fruits of his labor. You know what I mean? Like, to put in those hours to do what he's done in boxing, you have to you have to train and you have to be dedicated. And his dedication is, you know, is, is showing up in his fight. So, you all you have to respect a man like that. 